Well, Ida is still a category four hurricane, so it has been category four since it made landfall at 1255 in Port Fuchan earlier today. And then it made a second landfall near Galeano on the coast, and it still has maintained its cat four intensity with 130 mile per hour winds now. Gusts up to 160 still at this hour. This is of the six o'clock advisory, and it's expected to maintain this. And look at the well defined eye we still have at this hour as it's around 40 miles southwest of New Orleans, 70 miles southeast of Baton Rouge, and these bands of rain moving around that center of circulation. These bands can spawn severe storms as well as tornadoes as these bands move inland, dropping a heavy rain. And we were expecting to see some 10 to 16 inches of rain and storm surge still a concern for the folks here. Hurricane warnings still extend well into Mississippi. Tropical storm warnings well into northern Mississippi, and it will likely maintain its intensity the next few hours before weakening down to around a cat one during the early morning hours tonight, still impacting the coast through tomorrow. Tomorrow, though, with those bands of rain that will slowly spiral around, becoming a tropical depression sometime on Monday, and then we'll end up seeing it continue to move to our northeast as we head into Tuesday morning early. So we could see some severe storms here Tuesday morning early as it moves in through northwest Georgia and then extends up to our north as an extra tropical low and then continues into the northeast. So uh, time frame for North Georgia impacts will be mainly on on Tuesday here, but it's going to continue to impact the Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama and Florida coasts as we head into the rest of tonight. So still hurricane force winds until midnight, then starting to move into Mississippi by tomorrow morning with those destructive tropical storm force winds and then continuing up to our northwest, starting to bring some bands of rain in here overnight Tuesday night into Tuesday with some strong to even potentially severe storms as these winds continue to blow. So rainfall amount will be heavy storm surge combined with that deadly catastrophic in some spots up to 16 feet here across southeastern Louisiana as that's going to continue to be a problem and the rainfall also a problem here where we're going to be seeing up to 18 inches of rain. So we'll continue to follow Ida into the overnight hours and the impacts through the middle of this week here in North Georgia.